Honorable Chief Guest of the Day, Shri Sudhan Chupanditi, the Joint Secretary, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, with whose patronage, vision, blessings, guidance this particular two days event has come through in the Northeast. Let's put hands together for the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Sitting on the dais, let me just uh, introduce the dignitaries. Already the lady has mentioned, but uh, I would humbly request the people whose name I announce, just rise so that people can identify, they can recognize you and you can be, uh, take it further. Shay Vinay Malhotra, Senior Vice President, Hotel and Restaurant Association of the Eastern India Zone. We have come from Canada. Thank you, sir. Hearty welcome to you. Professor Dr. A. A. Dange, Vice Chancellor, Apex Professional University, Pasadena, Karnataka. Hearty welcome to you, sir. Mr. Danny Matthews, the Chief Managing Officer, Hotel and Lodging Educational Institute, who has come from the Bay Department. I think the audience, you've got to give a big hand, please, everybody, because we are trying to make this session as brief as possible. Uh, Ashish Gupta, we have already met in the last session. He is a consulting CEO. Shri Pika Dong, don't go on the height, don't go on the age, but he is just 79 years young who has gone to all the chief secretaries in all the eight states to invite personally for this conference. A big hand for this man. <laughs> Professor Nanki West Karmonger, Associate Professor at the Indian Institute of Management, Shillong. Hearty welcome to you as well. All those, the only ladies, but I just thought people should know you. Shri Vishwanath Goenkaji, President of the Association. Right from the day one, I had been associated with him and requesting him, let's put in this conference the best possible way. Goenkasa, my deep regards and thanks to you as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this being a crisp last closing valedictory session, we will go quickly and that is the way we have to work it out. I would request, first of all, our chief guest, this afternoon to kindly release a road map on airline tourism and hospitality so that all the deliberations, everything whatsoever you want to see, after five minutes it's available on the website, you can see it. Everything is going to be available, airline, tourism, hospitality, for the Northeast region, whatsoever you wish to see, what exactly is the present status of the infrastructure, human resource and linkages on the skills and others and what is the future recommendation and vision is given. I would request uh, everybody to just uh, show it to the, uh, for the photograph, Ashishi. And uh, let's have a wonderful clapping for this particular roadmap. Thank you very much. Please. Three minutes we will give to a lady, the only lady on the dais Ladies are to be honored, recognized. It was not her fault. In the morning, the traffic jam was there. She has come all the way from Shillong. So sir, with your permission, we'll give her three minutes. She has got five slides with a commitment. She is not going to promote IIM, but she is going to promote Northeast. Then, with that, I request Madam Nagy to just take off. Good afternoon to all of you. Hope you are all fine. Uh, it's a so I would like to congratulate, congratulate the organizers for this event and especially my thanks goes to Mr. Piki Down for inviting me to be in this program. Uh, let me tell you, I'm excited because this event is happening. I'm also nervous because I don't know whether to talk, what, to say what I want to say and I'm also angry. Why? Because I've been talking about the same thing again and again. Too many seminars, too many workshops, too many conferences. But the outcome is very, very poor. <laughs> and when I came here and, and, and entered this hall, I saw the two banners. One is saying, North East India calling, come visit us. It awaits. On the other side, I see catering to the domestic and international demands, which means the domestic and international markets outside Northeast is calling us. If you take from one side, there is a conflict. 
where the Northeast is calling markets to come here, or where the markets outside Northeast is calling us to go there. If you, if you, if you have only one side to see, it is a conflict, it's a controversy. But if you take from the other side, you see there is a synergy, right? What I'm seeing here is, not easy, you, if you have, please come out. See, I'm seeing a number of students there at the back. I'm not just a professor. I'm, to, I'm coming here with a, with, with a heavy heart because I'm also a social worker for more than 30 years now. I've been working with so many NGOs and associations, talking about creating employment, talking about skill, but down the line, nothing is really, something is happening, but not to the expectation. I'm seeing here, Northe they are calling us Northeast. Let us open up students at the back. If you have the skill, try, ex explore, expose yourself. The industry is there. So Northeast, we are being demanded. We have to find a way. We have to find a place. On the other side, I'm saying the industry is coming and calling us. Right? So we take it as a synergy. But what I'm concerned is those people who can go out, they go out, they go abroad, they go for study, they go for work, they can do so. What about those people who are not able to really go out, who don't have the means? So a special attention has to be given in this case, where we're trying to take the talent from the Northeast, the outside, that's fine, that's, it's a global economy. It's a global economy has become a village. But uh, the industry in particular, what we are trying to do here is, I've just written an article on migration from Northeast. What I focus is, okay, those who can go, let them go. But industry has to give attention to those people here in the Northeast who are still, who still need your help. So I'm seeing that the two things are happening. I'm not going to the slide, uh, uh, sir, because you said only three minutes. I stick to the time. But what I, if you want the slides, you can take the slides from me. Uh, what is important here is I'm seeing, I think, three, four slides which are very important. I'll, I'll just tell you what is happening. All the states, we see that the number of tourists has increased, except Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, but when we compare the number of tourists in the, in the, in the international front, it's not even 1%. We have the potential, but what is really happening with Northeast? Let's not blame anyone, right? Please, see, we are here, we are big people here, we are supplying. These young people over there, they come here not just to listen, they have a high expectation. What these old people here, what adults are going to give, what is our future? I'm also talking on behalf of these people sitting at the back. See, when you have to, see, when we talk about, see, advantages of Northeast, we need, we have to have a road map. I'm from economics uh, background. We have to have a road map. What is this? Demand and supply. We have the demand. Where is the demand is going to come? Right? We have to plan. Where is demand is going to come? If it's service sector, which, which, uh, which vertical, which particular unit? If there is a demand, where is the supply? How do we get the supply? We have to go back to the institutions, identify the skill, then equip, equip them. Identify the talent and equip them with skill, right? So we have to have a, mis a match between the demand and supply. When we talk about supply, we have also to talk about curriculum, hands-on training, bridging the gap between the industry and the academic as of now, because we have, even if we create employment, the employability is very low. Not even 25% of the graduates are employable. You still have to train them. It's a lot of waste, uh, waste of resources, waste of resources. So I'm not going to uh, go to the slides. I think I will have to stop. This is my concern. I'm available, and I'm not going to talk about I am Shillong, but in I am Shillong, we have come up with a center for Northeast where we conduct programs, in many cases, at free cost. We charge only a registration fee. So uh, we have in the players from the industry. If you are interested, you can also take, uh, make, uh, take the advantage of the Center for Development of Northeast Region, where they put me as the head. I'm not the director, I, I, I'm the head. So uh, with a concern for developing the Northeast Region. So thank you so much for this.